The All Blacks lock in quarterfinals opponents, leaders clash over suggestions of a second election and Israeli death toll continues to rise. Atamaria, I'm Shuri Kinnear reporting from France and these are the latest New Zealand Herald headlines. Here in Lyon, the All Blacks have fronted media for the first time since finding out who they'll face in the Rugby World Cup quarterfinals. They'll officially play Ireland on Sunday morning, currently the world's number one team and a side boasting a 17-game win streak. All Blacks head coach Ian Foster is relishing in the challenge that awaits. It's what you'd expect. You know, you go and come to a World Cup quarterfinal, you, you expect teams to know their game well, and, and they do. So they'll be confident and kind of love that challenge. Back home and in election news, Chris Hipkins has assured he won't be breaking his word on working with Winston Peters, even if it means sending voters back to the polls. Nationals warning of a second election amid the growing possibility of post-election talks between them, ACT and New Zealand First falling short of forming a government. The parties place an ad in the Herald on Sunday suggesting eight weeks of coalition talks could be on the cards if people didn't vote national. Peters has dismissed the prospect of a second election as a lie, while Hipkins says the ad shows nationals falling apart. In world news, the death toll from the surprise assault launched by Hamas on Israeli communities near Gaza is now more than 600, officials estimate. Israel has launched airstrikes in response and its Prime Minister says his country is at war. New Zealanders with friends and family in Israel meanwhile are horrified and desperately trying to contact loved ones. Prime Minister Chris Hipkins has condemned the attacks. We recognise Israel's right to defend itself. We are concerned that the situation will escalate in the coming days and New Zealand again calls for restraint, the protection of non-combatants and the upholding of international humanitarian law by all parties. And finally, some good news at the checkout as cost increases from grocery suppliers to supermarkets slow down. The Infometrics Supplier Cost Index shows they rose 6.1% in the year to September, slower than during 2022 and early 2023. Produce fell in price between August and September. It's understood to be thanks to the fallout from Cyclone Gabrielle starting to have less pressure on the food system. And those are the latest New Zealand Herald headlines. For more news worth knowing, head to nzherald.co.nz. Kia pai te ra. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. To stay up to date with all the latest news from the New Zealand Herald, click the subscribe button below or check out one of the videos here. And head over to nzherald.co.nz for more details on these stories and more.